Hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of Wrestle Test. I'm here with four wrestling experts: Dan Sebastiano, the play of Benny Scala, Mr. President Phil DeCesare, and the one and only Michael Monte. But first thing I have to do is send a special happy birthday out to the man all the way on the left of the screen, and that is Dan Sebastiano. Birthday. Happy birthday, Dan. Appreciate it, guys. This should be fun. So, Dan, wishing you the best on your birthday, my friend. And again, thanks for joining the channel. It's going to be such a pleasure to beat your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, ho hopefully, hopefully the game's the, the, the smartest guy in the room. room. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Well, if you don't know, this is a we'll wrestling's see. newest game show. We have a, everything has to be answered in the form of a question. We've got categories, and the current champion is Phil DeCesare, so he gets to pick the first category. So, Phil, why don't you get us started? You know, you know I'm going to go in order because I'm an orderly kind of guy. Uh, let's, let's go, go with catchphrases catch for 100, Bruce, please. please. Catchphrases? Who snapped into those Slim Jims? Got Dan. Uh, that, that would be Randy, Randy Savage, Savage, currently LA Knight. <laughs> Who is Randy Savage? Savage? Sorry. That would be correct. Nice <laughs> job, this, uh, birthday boy. Well, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to rain on Phil's parade. So let's do catchphrases for two hundred. Catchphrases for two hundred. <laughs> Who coined the phrase best in the world during his WWE tenure? And again. The best, best in the, the world, world, who is CM Punk? Punk? Who is CM Punk? Right answer, Dan. Nice job. Nice job. Let's, Let's keep, keep it going. going. This catchphrase is 300. Catchphrases for 300. He got the crowd jumping with yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Looks like Mike. Yeah, Mike, it looks like we lost Mike for now. Let's do catchphrases 400. Catchphrases for 400. Which wrestler used the catchphrase? I'm the Ayatollah of rock and roll. Player. Who is Chris Jericho? Who is Chris Jericho? Nice job, player. Your turn right, to pick a category. Let's do catchphrases for 500. Catchphrases for 500. Who often said, I am the measuring stick of the business? Mike Monty's back in. Mike. Uh, who is Triple H? Um, right answer. Nice job. Good nice. job. Mike's in the lead now. So, uh, Perfect. Mike, you're just like that. By the way, guys, I would have had all those, but my sound went out, and you know, but hey, it's okay. Better to start this way. Ben, ben is up to his old tricks again. <laughs> yep, yeah, playing Benny. <laughs> all right, Mike, your turn to pick a category. <laughs> Uh, Bruce, I'd like to have B wrestlers for 500, please. B wrestlers for 500. This wrestler is known for his yes chant and eco friendly perso persona. Dan. Uh, who is Daniel Bryan? Oh, come on. Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryanson, whatever the heck his name is this day. Yeah, that, that's right. Ripped, up, ripped all that stuff off the Miz. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go backwards then. Let's do B Wrestlers 400. B Wrestlers for 400. Who was the leader of the Nexus faction? Dan. The Nexus, who is Wade Barrett? Wade Barrett. Nice. Fuck. Nice job there. Dan's running away with it. Are you guys letting him win for his birthday Running or something? <laughs> Gotta stop him. All right, Dan. Uh, let's, let's keep, keep it going, going and do B Wrestlers 300. This wrestler is known as the Beast from the East. Come on, Dan. Buzzing. Dan. Damn. Who, who is Bam Bam, Bam Bigelow? Right again, Dan. I, I think Dan's, uh, Dan's screwing with people somehow. I think my, my buzzer's rigged. I, I think, think the buzzer's, buzzer's worked. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Monty. Monty. <laughs> All right, Dan. Buzzers are gimmick. All right, let's let's let's, let's, let's do two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. 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 The I Demon think so. King. Mr. President. Finally. Who is Finn Balor? Yes. Finn Balor, absolutely, absolutely. Nice job. It's your turn, Phil. Let's finish the category, Bruce Mann, if we can, please. Be wrestlers for 100, please. Well, I hate to say it, but uh, you got a green mist. <laughs> oh. Of course. Of course. Oh, Phil is going to lose oh. 100 points. No respect, I tell you. There you go. So, but it's still your choice there, Phil. All right, All right. you know me, so I'm going to go with legendary tag teams for 100, please, Bruce. This team was known for their doomsday device finishing maneuver. Buzzing, 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 buzzing. Who are, who are either the Legion of Doom or the Road Warriors? The Road Warriors, absolutely. One of the greatest tag team ever, in my own humble opinion. Absolutely. absolutely. All right. Right so on. I'm assuming you're going to keep it in order. Let's uh, hit the... <laughs> you are right, Bruce. Order, absolutely. All right. Who were the original members of, or who were the members of the original Midnight Express? I got it. I got it. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm You're buzzing. there, Phil. You got it. Uh, uh, who are Randy Rose and Dennis Condry? This is going back is, even before correct. Dennis that Condry and Bobby Eaton. It, it, it is, but that but, uh it was, it, I'm pretty it was, sure it was, I'm pretty uh, sure it was, uh, Condry I'm pretty sure it was Condry and Rose in the AWA. But, uh, but a, I thought the same. Sarah, Sarah, I will defer to the judges. So, all right, Phil. So I'm assuming legendary tag teams for 300. Everybody's going to get this one. Oh, yes, oh, yes please. please. Which tag team was known as the Brain Busters? Busters? Oh, yeah. It's you, Phil. Who are who are Double A Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard? Yes. Yeah, everybody would have that one. I think we lost Mike there. I haven't even heard him commenting there. Just like the spirit box that was in that spot last week. <laughs> All right, Phil. I guess we're going legendary tag team. He's probably still <laughs> beating me anyway. <laughs> we, please, Look, Bruce. Who were the members of the Rock and Roll Express? <laughs> Bill. Uh, uh, Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson. You got it. You got it. So I thought your buzzer wasn't working. Now it's working every time and Dan's isn't? What's going on here? <laughs> Mine, mine's not. Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, Bruce. Yeah, I guess we're going to finish the category, please. The East West Connection. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. President. Who, who is Adrian Adonis and Jesse the Body Ventura? Absolutely. Nice. Good job. Good job. Yes, see, Miss Amy. All right. So, uh, being that Phil's doing this, I can probably predict where we're going next. <laughs> Let's do it, Bruce. All right. A WrestleMania 2 main eventer. Sometimes, who sometimes requested a five count. Uh, yeah. That's you, Phil. Come on, I... That, that, would, be, that would be the walking condominium, King Kong Bundy. King who Kong. is King Kong Bundy? Oh, yeah, you should have gotten you out on that one. But, uh, nice, nice job. In order? Well, thanks for the mercy, man. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Benny often reminds us this champion should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Benny, you better get it. Oh, Dan. Or Dan, for that matter. 
I, I had to name drop you on the show the other day, Benny, but uh, who is Koloff? Ivan Koloff. <laughs> All right. I didn't know that one, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh, he did not throw a rock through a Burger King window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who is the strongest, world strong, the true world strongest man, Ken Patera? Ken Patera, nice job, nice job. All right, are we continuing this in order? Or you want to change things up there, Dan? No, let's let's let's. Uh, well, it depends. Is if, if four hundred is a bad, is a missed or something? No, I'll skip it. <laughs> I don't remember where it is, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This man held a tag team title I got for one of the longest already. reigns yeah, ever. The the reign itself lasted over the, the length of the reign was over uh was over a year, but it the it lasted over twenty years. This was after many successful years as a singles competitor. <laughs> what do we have there? Mike. You know, it's awfully weird. My buzzer doesn't, when I hit my buzzer, that doesn't let me have sounds. That's what singles uh, lasted over 20 years. Tony Guria. No. Damn. Oh, well, that's who I would have said. No. Yeah, can't hear Bill Eady. <coughs> I, I couldn't hear what Mike said. Does anybody else have a chance to bet after Bill I. Bill Eady? Mike, Mike said Bill Eady. Uh, I didn't Eddie. hear what he said. It's too late. Bill Eady <laughs> gave the answer. Courtship of Eddie's father? Yeah, Bill Eady. Yeah, Mr. Eddy. Do you know that song? People, let me tell you about my best friend. Um, Harry well, Nelson. I guess we'll keep Tell you about my best friend. Do 500. Okay. Uh-oh. That is the brass knuckles, Dan. I am sorry. You are going to lose 500 points. Man, how many of those you got in here? I thought we already had the negative. Uh -oh. yeah, we, did. We, had a, we had the green, the green. Oh, actually, no, Dan, that's the brass knuckles. That means you get to take... 500 from somebody. <laughs> so who would you like to take uh, 500 points from? Well, well I, hate I hate to do this to you, because uh, uh, but he's the closest, closest score to me, so I'll take him from, from Phil. 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 Sorry, Phil. <laughs> I didn't want, want to take him from oh, Mike. I like him right. on the channel. Turn about his fair play. <laughs> I hear you. All right, Dan. It's your, tra your turn to choose. Let's, let's do... Uh, uh, Oh, you know, let's, let's start from the bottom. Let's do 500 heel turns. Heel turns for $500. 500 points. This wrestler turned heel by it. joining the authority they in 2014, it. betraying the shield. Bill. I got it. I got it. Who is Gene Ambrose? No. No. I think that's long enough there, uh, Bruce. What do you think? Four no, other, other other side. side. Oh, jeez. All right, Dan. Who, who is, is Seth, Seth Rollins? Rollins? Who is Seth mm -hmm. Rollins? Oh, oh duh! I know, and I love the shield. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. All right, well, let's do uh, let's do heel turns four hundred. Which wrestler turned heel by attacking his mentor Ric Flair in two thousand three? Mike. Randy Orton. No. Take. Take your mic. I didn't hear what Mike said. Anybody else? Dan. Uh, who, who is, is Triple, Triple H? H? Can't, can't, can't hear. Triple H. God darn it. I had a choice. <laughs> there were only Keep two. This is what happens when you're panicking to get points. <laughs> Keep, Keep it going. going. All right. Everybody better get this one. Who turned heel by betraying his tag team partner, Marty Jannetty, during a barbershop segment <laughs> in 1992? I know, I know. Yep, there you go, Phil. Uh, uh, who is, is HBK, HBK Shawn Michaels? Michaels. Classic. Classic. My boy, Marty. Or Marty. All right. Party Marty. Yeah, Phil, it's your, your choice there. We're going up or we're going down? Marty. We'll go up, Chris. Just move on to 200, please. This wrestler turned on Hulk Hogan in mid-1986, setting up an iconic steel cage match that had to be restarted due to a tie. Yeah. Still. Yeah. 
Uh, ooh, shit. Um, can I say bad words? Who's Paul Orndorff? Ooh, Mr. Wonderful. Wonderful. Paul Orndorff. Nice. And let's, uh, we're going to finish it off with Heel Turns well, for Hunger. Well, again, everybody better get this one. Which wrestler famously turned heel at Bash of the Beach in 1996, forming the NWO? Yeah. Uh, who is uh, Donald Trump's friend? <laughs> uh, who's, who's Hulk Hogan? You got it. You got it. Nice job. Nice job. So at, the, at this point, we, uh, we're going to have to take a commercial break. And while we're taking that break, you guys decide what you're going to wager. Mike, it looks like you're out of it. Uh, Mr. President, you're sitting there with 800, player with 400. And Dan, if he's smart, mm. he cannot be touched. The birthday boy is in the lead. <laughs> So uh, when we come back, we will have our final question. And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by because wine is your second favorite four letter word california wine new york attitude good fucking wine yeah looking to enhance the appeal and performance of your gym with state-of-the-art equipment look no further than the gym administrator Founded by Sal Corrente, professional wrestling manager, promoter, and author of the great book Bruno San Martino, the autobiography of wrestling's living legend, available on Amazon.com, the gym administrator will spot you on that final rep and assist you every step of the way from purchase through installation. Whether it be strength training, cardiovascular training, or performance enhancement, the gym administrator works with a wide array of leading vendors and suppliers carefully selected to meet the diverse needs of your clientele. Service the way you remember it. Contact us at 914-494-1066 or visit our website at thegymadministrator.com as well as all social media platforms. The Gym Administrator. All your fitness needs under one roof. Scan the barcode at the bottom of the screen to get started today. I'm Rosa Mendez, and I'm here at the number one Long Island broadcast, Monty Ferro. I have the best time ever. Hey, listen, Daddy. You're listening to the number one broadcast, Monty and Ferro, Daddy, in Long Island. The best pro wrestling broadcast of all time, I think. Jimmy, I got to tell you, man, it feels good to be back on YouTube. It was uh, quite disappointing what happened to us, but we bounced back pretty fairly quickly. Well, what, what else would we do? We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Well, speaking of that, man, yeah. we need more members. Okay. What do you think we need to do to get the people of those 5,000 subscribers to come on and, and join the team as a Monty and a Faro member? Nudity is out of the question. Any other ideas? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But what I, I do have a few ideas. Well, just like Prell, they should tell two friends, and they can tell two friends, and so on and so on. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out all our content. But that's, you know what? That's why you're, you're the star of the show, because guess what? Members get special content. Even we spoke about it. Farrell came to me one day, and he goes, man, what's the deal? I can't even watch some of these videos because I'm not a member. And I said, there you go, Farrell. You got to be a member because this is what the members get. They get free content nice. that none of the other fans that watch this show get. That's right. You get free autographs from some of these wonderful stars that come in, right? Nice. All you do is you go to the MNP webpage, or, right, our own page, yeah. and shoot us an email and say, hey, man, I want a picture of... Tommy Rich, I want a picture of whatever. And boy, that's on its way. We give them their choice. That's right. We rock. We do rock. You need to rock, too. Join. You guys have your wagers down? Yes, yeah, there's we're right. man. So uh, as long as, yes. Dan's, you know, hopefully Dan is uh, is greedy and goes for uh, 6000 and, you know, then the other two of you have a chance. <laughs> 
But uh, so here's the here's the, the final. Yeah, they get it tough, Bruce, Bruce man. man. Who was the first wrestler to win the WWE, WCW, and ECW championships? Da, na, 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 na. So uh, everybody, uh, everybody got their pens down. So I got to give a shout. Dan's got the family shirt on. Pens too. down. All right, you ready, Betty? You you got it, your answer? Yes. All right. I have. Who is CM Punk? No. Oh, I what, crossed, was, I, what was your wager? I crossed, there? Out the, I crossed out the right answer, but okay. And I wager three ninety nine. All right, that brings you down to a dollar. So Dan, what do you what do you have there? Uh, I'm. That's no, wait, honestly, actually, no, wait, you're in the lead. Let's go to let's go to the president, the, okay. the, uh, the the current champion, Mr. President. Phil, what do you have as an answer? Uh, I I guessed strictly, and uh, it's pro. It's likely not right because I counted Chris Jericho as a TV champion in ECW as well. But I I, I chose Jericho. No wrong answer. What was the wager there? All or nothing, All or nothing baby. baby. All or nothing. So All of Bill it. As down to zero. It's nothing. Well, well, birthday boy. It's a, It's looks like it's coming down to you. What do you, well, what don't, do you got? You know, Phil. Don't, don't, don't feel too bad, bad because I also guessed Chris Jericho, but I wagered nothing. All right. So I, all right. So I had yeah. Rob Van Dam, and I crossed it off. Man. Rob Van Dam was did hold all those yeah. titles, but the Big Show was the first one there. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's right with the with the with the, with the uh, ECW on Sci-Fi. I forgot about that. So yeah, nice job, guys. Nice job. Great guess. Right. But I uh, know you were all wrong. But uh, Dan Dan's the new champ for his birth. The birthday job, boy Dan job. wins the championship. Nice job, Dan. Very Congratulations. Good. So gotta love gonna, it. Gonna, As Buddy Rogers would say, to a better man, man, it could not happen. Man. Went a little bit smoother. The buzzers went good. We had a little bit of trouble with Mike Monty's buzzers, but otherwise, the rest of the buzzers seemed to work pretty good for everybody this week. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, each week yeah. we, we can yeah. improve. So, uh, you know, anybody have anything that they want to talk? They want to plug before we get on out of here? Hey, Ben, why don't you start? Well, don't don't forget. Um, actually, I know we 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 asked uh, Phil as part of it, but uh, this this coming Tuesday. With the uh, upcoming SummerSlam pay-per-view, Benny and I are going back to what we started years ago. We're going to do a, uh, a prediction and kind of analysis show of the upcoming event, so it should be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Uh, I got to uh, plug the baseball bums with Jimmy Farrow and I tonight. Uh, we're going to uh, do our last in a five-part series of who should or should not be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, tomorrow night with uh, uh, True Crime. With the bad girl, the playa, the president, and dangerous Dave, we will be uh, chatting about the horrible tragedy of Chris Benoit or Benoit. And I like the way uh, Jeremy used to pronounce it, Chris Benoit. Uh, and then on Wednesday on the Play Unplugged, <laughs> I have award winning uh, radio show talk host uh, Jeff Katz. Great guy. So. Plenty, yeah. plenty coming up on yeah, the money with our channel. Uh, it's great stuff. Right, yeah, I just can't. Phil, you got anything you want to plug? Uh, you know, I, I'm going to be uh, with you know, uh, Benny with, uh, and, and the Boston Benny Bad Girl and, and Dangerous Dave uh, this Dave, Monday uh, night doing the Benoit case. The Benoit and again, again, uh, uh, again just uh, perhaps the most uh, graphic case uh, ever in, 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 in true crime uh, pro wrestling history. And certainly my contributions with Bonnie and the Pharaoh and... Be on the radio, be on the radio this, this week, week if you're up in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. You can listen to me here. So 
That's it. That's it. All right, guys, and don't forget to check out the Monty and the Pharaoh show itself live every Thursday at 9 p.m. on Facebook, Twitch, oh, YouTube, and all your streaming services. And on behalf of Dan Sebastiana, the player Benny Scala, the president Phil DeCessere, and Michael Monty, this is ESO, and we will catch you next time. Later. <laughs>